And where you hit the drum, you have different sounds out of the drum. And one of the, uh, the cool things that I enjoy about playing hand drums is that on all different parts of the drum, you have different tones. And you create different tones again by what? Do you remember those two little things I told you? How you create different tones? Yes, sir. Well, that's one way, correct, and? Uh, by hitting it hard. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Now, in answer to your question, in addition to, you know, you change the pitch by tightening the strings, just as you would to change the pitch on this drum by getting a wrench and turning the little lug nuts that are around the drum. Now. Let's talk about the conga drum, and nowadays, you know, we're in uh, 2011, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, uh, a lot of these drums are made out of fiberglass instead of wood. Now, they still make wood congas, don't get me wrong, you know, they still make wood congas. But with fiberglass, you know, everybody knows what fiberglass is, right? It's a plastic. You know, uh, that they um, piece together, just like a puzzle, and they make layers and layers of fiberglass to create anything. And then they mold it to look, to have this shape. And uh, I'll leave this upside down, but it's really nothing to look at inside, because all you're looking at is just layers and layers of fiberglass that's, you know, been melted and shaped and formed to, uh, to make this, this body, the shell of the drum. And again, you know, uh, there's different kinds of conga drums, different colors. Um, and nowadays, instead of using natural skin heads from animals, you know, uh, now we're making, uh, drum, drum head companies are, are making plastic heads which seem to last a little bit longer. And you know, with all the weather that we have, changing from different climates, the humidity, uh, the heat, uh, they tend to stay in tune or in pitch a little bit longer than the regular natural, natural drum head. But again, um, a lot of folks have different theories on where the congas originated, but most of the, of the teachers that I've sat around with always say that uh, Africa is, is, is where the, the conga drums originated. Um, so does anybody have any questions about the conga drums before I move into some of the other little toys that I have? Now don't be shy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Get, play the conga? Okay, sure. Um, one of the first basic rhythms, if you ever get into <laughs> playing conga drums, uh, there's a, a, a basic rhythm called the Wawa Kul. And uh, it's spelled G U G A U A C O. And it's originally from Cuba, um, from Latin America. And um, and it's and it's kind of like a trot, you know how a trot of a horse goes. Or you could just and see where I'm hitting. I'm hitting the edge of the drum, and if I was to hit the middle of the drum, it would have a different pitch, a different tone. second part of the Wawa Ko is, is, I'll see if I can play it on one drum, is uh,
That's one part. Here's the other part. And you can add different uh, variations of it as you play. But the basic part, you know, is just like, uh, um, I know a lot of, I know, um, Mrs. Moore is, 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 is also a, a basketball coach. So, you know, there's different degrees of, uh, of dribbling. You know, you, you have a, you know, like your favorite shot that you might have, you know, that you can take, that you feel real confident about, about using, you know, or, or uh, you know, you have your favorite pen or pencil that you like to use, you know, when you're doing your homework. Uh, so, uh, you know, the rhythm, the wild wild cold, is the basic rhythm that you can always kind of go back to, and it'll always fit in into whatever kind of music style you're playing. And and uh, if we can backtrack a little bit again, you know, I've been playing the the conga drums and all these great toys since 1971, and uh, it was. Uh, at a clinic, which is where you guys are now, kind of to where I got interested in, in the hand drums. Um, and a lot of people ask me, well, do your hands ever hurt? And, and I have to say, there are a lot of times when they do, and the best thing when my hands start to hurt is just like uh, when you sprain an ankle or you, uh, or you jam a finger, you know, like you, you soak it in ice. And, and the, the puffiness or the swellingness, you know, will, will go down, and uh, you know, you're, you're good to go uh, for the for the next performance, so to speak. But uh, okay, so uh, any other good questions about uh, about the conga drums? Yes, sir. Is there like different types of like conga drums that are like bigger or smaller that produce different sounds? That's a good question. Um, this particular drum, uh, there's usually three different sizes in the Kunga uh, drum family. There's the, uh, the the large Kunga drum. It's called a tumba or the tumba door. And then the middle size Kunga is called a Kunga. And then the smaller drum. And hopefully they'll, they'll let you. Or it's okay with me if you get up here. Um, the smaller size drum is called a quinto, and quinto in, uh, in English um, means small. Uh, and it's, it's kind of an abbreviation for, uh, for, uh, for chiquito, which in English means small. So, but the, the quinto is the small drum, and they all have different pitches and different tones. So the three main ones are the Tumba or the tumba door, the kunga, and then the quinto, and then and then now you know with modern technology in 2011 and I, and I guess since since the since the turning of the century, they invented another smaller size drum that's called the re quinto, which is means it's smaller than the quinto. Does that answer your question? All right. Anybody? Anyone else? Yes, sir. Um, how did it go from Africa and to the rest of the world? How did what? How, how do they got the, why do they got the theory that it going from Africa to the west? And the west? That's a when good did question. It, when did it go to Europe or Asia first? Well, it's possible. But, uh, you know, you have to remember, uh, you know, back in the early days, you know, Africa, you know, uh, was uh, the folks, you know, back then, you know, slavery was a, was a big uh, commodity. You know, people would, from the states, the United States would, uh, would, would, or people from Europe would go to, uh, to Africa to buy slaves. And, you know, uh, these people, uh, the African Americans, were uprooted. Uh, from their families, you know, from their homes. And, you know, a lot of people wanted to bring that family-oriented oriented, oriented, uh, 
organization or oriented family process with them no matter where they were going. Uh, and some of the slaves did go to Europe. Some of the slaves, you know, came to the United States. Some of the slaves, you know, were dropped off in, uh, in, in uh, the West Indies, in Cuba, uh, in Mexico. So, uh, so they brought, you know, their culture with them when they were uh, on, this, on these boats. And, and I'm sure, you know, you guys have, uh, have studied a little history on, on how the how that phase of coming from Africa, you know, was for some of these um, African-American um, uh, families. They were really, literally, you know, uprooted from, from their lifestyle and, and brought to some place, um, you know, with, you know with, with nothing on their backs except for what they were wearing. Uh, and, you know, it'd be just like you taking a trip with, you know, without your, uh, your favorite book. You know, you, you, you have to find a book to read because that's part of you. Did I answer your question? Yeah. Awesome. Yes, sir? My question for the white man. Awesome. So, my question was white pick up children. So, um, they, they, I know they're different drum sizes, but how different are the sounds between the drum sizes? Well, um, again, you know, it, how different of the sound is, is, uh, is, through how hard you hit it. And uh, let me grab a film of it. See, he tells me what I can touch and I can't. <laughs> Now this, do you remember which one, which drum this is? Maybe, maybe not. Very good. All right. So a low drum. That's the bass. And you got the conga. Special. 